for me, being brought up in Lisbon, uh, it was quite an experience the first time I came to Europe without needing the transition of a special passport and uh, everything. As a Palestinian coming to the EU, visiting the EU, I employ the youth here for the uh, freedom of movement and the ability to travel easily. The thing we miss back in Palestine. One of the European Union's key objectives is to offer its citizens an area of freedom, security and justice without internal borders. To achieve this, the EU adopted the ambitious Stockholm programme for 2010 to 2014 with guidelines for common politics in justice, fundamental rights and privacy. Ce qui est des échanges internationaux pour les jeunes, effectivement, le fait de pouvoir aller étudier en Angleterre ou en, ou en, ou en Allemagne ou en Italie, effectivement, ça permet une meilleure intégration des populations européennes, ça c'est sûr. I was in intercambio in uh, Spain, uh, University of uh, Extremadura, Badajoz, from one year. And uh, I would love it, the new experience, new language, new culture, it's marvelous. European politics is not something cold, it's not something about the uh, a market and about the euro, no. It is about 500 million individuals and the EPP, has done everything that these individuals find their place and can feel secure. Today we take it for granted that we can live and work anywhere in the European Union. One of the greatest achievements has been Erasmus, the university exchange programme enabling students from across Europe to study in another member state. And thanks to the Schengen Agreement, we can travel freely between the member states without being stopped at the internal borders for immigration checks or passport control. More than 60% of us recognise this freedom of movement as the European Union's main success. And that's why the EPP group believes it must be protected and was behind the adoption of the new Schengen evaluation mechanism in 2013. The new system makes Schengen more transparent and efficient. Before, it was run on an intergovernmental basis in which member states kept checks on each other. The EPP group argued this was not robust enough and now the European Commission will act as a coordinator, monitoring and responding to any problems that occur. This eliminates the double standards, meaning that Schengen members and candidate countries will be evaluated in exactly the same way and by the same rules. Through this mechanism, the European Parliament reinforces its right to access information, replacing pre-booked border inspections with impromptu checks. The Council has given clear assurances that before any amendment to the evaluation system is decided, it will consult with the Parliament. This will prevent Member States from carrying out illegal controls or reintroducing national borders without any EU verification. However, Schengen has been criticised as a haven for criminals, making it easier for gangs to move and operate across borders. EPP Group member and rapporteur on the Justice and Home Affairs Committee, Manfred Weber, says that the introduction of Schengen has actually improved the coordination between police organisations across Europe and increased their power to fight organised crime. I'm at home in a border region uh, between Germany and Czech Republic in Bavaria, that's my home region, and I, and I remember very good that there were a lot of fears when we opened the border after the enlargement of the European Union and the Schengen uh, enlargement. And today I could say that the, the criminal rate in this region is lower than before. Why? Because the authorities are working strongly together. We have established, for example, a Schengen information system, a database, where the authorities in, in, in France and in Belgium and in Germany and in Czech Republic have the same database when we are looking for criminals. The database also contains alerts on missing persons, stolen property and people who do not have the right to be in the EU. In April 2013, the second generation Schengen information system was introduced, with enhanced functionalities to use biometrics, new types of alert and stronger data protection. This easy exchange of information between national border controls, customs and police authorities ensures the free movement of people in a safe environment. The success of Schengen is also reliant on a high level of security at the external borders. The EU created the agency Frontex to facilitate cooperation between member states and offer financial support. The new Frontex regulation in 2011 introduced European border guard teams to act quickly in a security breach, humanitarian emergencies and rescues at sea. Frontex now has the power to process data in the fight against criminality, human trafficking and illegal immigration. 
And thanks to the European arrest warrant, a criminal suspect or sentenced person can be arrested anywhere in the EU and sent back to the state where the warrant was issued. The Christian Democrat thinkers have taken the union-wide prosecution of criminals one step further with the proposal to establish an EU public prosecutor's office by 2015. Its sole task will be to investigate and prosecute anyone who defrauds European taxpayers by committing crimes with EU money. A European prosecutor working together with delegated national prosecutors under, with the national police under national law in order not to have any place in Europe where a criminal can hide and to protect the European taxpayers' money. This is a landmark. It is of paramount importance that the different national judicial systems work effectively together and do not create obstacles. The aim is for decisions taken by national judges in one jurisdiction to be recognised throughout the EU. So common training is currently in place to increase mutual trust and knowledge of each other's laws and to facilitate practical judicial cooperation. This is just part of the EU's efforts to build a harmonised European area of justice, which provides stability and continuity so its citizens' rights are always recognised throughout Europe. Join us in part two to see how you can make the most of being an EU citizen.